this is a massive cutting board, as y'all can see. That is two briskets, one six, maybe six and a half, and the other one, uh, I think eight and a half pounds. But we're gonna trim this off, we're gonna measure it up, see what the weight is, and then I'm gonna show you how I calculate uh, time. So here we go, y'all. <laughs> get busy this my you see i wrote on it spg y'all know what that stands for y'all seen the mixture from earlier all i'm doing is seasoning it yep not too heavy not too light want that flavor to sit in for the next 45 minutes get them sides because y'all know y'all be slacking on them sides Now, if I was doing a competition brisket, this thing would be perfectly trimmed, but it's for the house, so I don't want to throw away a lot of meat. And I already feel like I have. Yup. I'm gonna flip this thing over. This that eat side. Yeah. And this piece of meat so forgiving, man. Y'all have no idea. We're going to let that sit there. I'm going to go ahead and season up the other one. Let them sit here for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on whatever time uh, the grill gets up the temp. And then we're going to get busy, y'all. So stay tuned. We're going to walk outside here in a minute. And I'm going to show you when we get out there, all right? I know that's a long video, but bear with me. You're going to love the final product. All right, here we go, y'all. We about to measure this thing out. All right. I'm about to zero it out. And we're going to stick them on now. This is the biggest one that was eight pounds. So this one is five pounds, 14 ounces. And then this one, the smaller one, which was six pounds, five pounds, 14 ounces. Remember that, y'all. That's a zero. And four pounds, six ounces. So there you go. We're going to do the math. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I did the math, all right? Now, anyway, better yet, all you got to do is, the math is simple. The math is one and a half times, or one and a half hours for every pound of meat. And you can do the math on that. So we're going to calculate it. And I'll come back when I'm outside. We'll talk about it. All right. Woo! On this early morning, getting it in, y'all. It's uh, early Sunday morning. And I'm trying to cook this brisket. Uh, got my in-laws coming in. Um, it's that time, y'all. Anyway, I'm going to show y'all what time it is. Never mind the picture. You know what time it is. 6.02. Right? Already got Boss Hall running. Oh, uh, I just, I lit it. I actually woke up like 5.15. I forgot to set my alarm clock, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but time changed this morning, supposedly at 2 a.m. And, uh, it don't feel like time changed. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get to it. I'm running a little late. I wanted to get up about 4.30. Um, crank up Boss Hog, let it run to about 5.30 and then put my meat on. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to push through. Um, I got my timer running. So stay tuned for that. We're going to see how long it takes for Boss Hall to get up the temp, right? So check that out in a few. Uh, let's show you what kind of goodies I got. Y'all already know. I'm messing with both of my meat probes today, y'all. 
the meat, the meter block, and then the uh, the ink bird. I'm using both of them today. I want to see if this works on Boss Hog, the Big Shirley Fab. And we already know this going to work because this is a cable. This is wireless. This is cable. I want to see if they work because uh, it allowed me some flexibility. I really use the more expensive on the more expensive and then use maybe my ink bird on the uh, on the uh, my Kamado. But in all truthfulness, I can use this on anything because I got the four wireless probes. I could probably plug one in, in there and plug one on the Kamado at the same time. That's another video. But anyway, y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to get crunk. Like I said, I already uh, fired her up. Um, oh, let me show you this real quick. I don't know if I showed y'all this. But anyway, I'm rambling, so here we go. Oh, actually, let me get you the propane tank, too. I'll just show you. All right, this thing here is simple. It's a gun. I know, uh, never mind the name, right? They all the same, pretty much. You take the lid off this. Take the white cap off. You screw it in. Pull your trigger. Well, actually, you turn this on. You hear the gas coming out. You pull your trigger. You'll see a little flame coming out of there. You got to gotta give it some gas. It's a little lever right here, safety notch. You pull it down, and you can pull back, and that'll, you have flame everywhere. This is perfect for me. I used to have a torch on my, uh, my big propane tank, but that was tedious to pick up and walk around with. This is perfect um, for the, minute, the, the amount of times I'm lighting up Boss Hog, so we're going to see what happening, y'all. Anyway, enough about me talking about me. Let's get to this cooking, y'all. We're going out to the grill in a little bit. We'll see how long it'll take for this big boy to come up the temp, y'all. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, y'all, man? It's your boy. Ooh, it is cold as I don't know what out here. It's about 35 degrees. Y'all can see I'm scullied up. Probably going to put my hoodie on, but let me show you this clock real quick. This is how long it takes. You see it climbing. That says 53 minutes. So take off maybe three minutes for me going in the house getting the brisket. We're going to go ahead and stop that. And I'm going to start my clock on my timer so I know how long it is before I... Spritz for the first time. All right, y'all know the rules. This brisket, no different than ribs. Uh, two hours on 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 the grill before I even look at it. Um, with a stick burner, every forty five minutes I got to come out here and put another piece of wood on there. So, um, on a brisket, that's tedious, but it is what it is. I'm up. Um, uh, trying to get this done for dinner because I want to rest for maybe. I, want, I say six hours, but I didn't get up on time. So, yeah, it's going to be what it is. It's going to rest for about, uh, I don't know, two to three hours, but we're going to see. So now let me explain. The reason why I put a brisket in the, in the, the warmer versus one in the, uh, the open bay or the, or the big portion. I split it up because I'm taking one to work tomorrow, so I don't want it to cook as fast. This right now, I got it set. Looks like it's hovering around 200 degrees, the warmer box, which is perfect. I was going to wait until later and put put one on or just put it on the Kamado, but I'm just going to let it roll real slow at 200 degrees. I'm in no rush. Like I said, once it gets closer to the end of the day, when I get ready to wrap it, I'm probably going to take this one off. Um, once I wrap it, you know, you're not getting any smoke. I'll probably put it in the oven um, and let it cook till in the morning because I'm getting up bright and early in the morning. Got to be somewhere about 530 in the morning so. I'll be packed up and everything, so that'll give me time on that one. And then I'll put it in my warmer box, and it'll stay warm until uh, whenever they want to open it up and eat it. So that's the reason why I'm doing it differently. Go ahead and get the cook out the way. Let it go low and slow. This one's probably going to be super tender, super delicious, because it's cooking about 200. Um, it's cranking up now, maybe about 2. I might be able to get to 225, depending on how this wood works with me, because um, I'm mixing oak. And cherry, y'all. That's all I use, oak and cherry. 
um, unless I don't have a choice. But anyway, y'all stay tuned for this long cook. Bear with me as I try to stay woke all day, y'all. We'll be back. And I ain't forgot you. I'm going to let you know about the, uh, the calculation on how long. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. I'm gonna plug this in. Ooh, that thing look good. Let's see if I get some reception. Here we go. Yep. Let them roll. I'll open it again for a while. Let's see if we can configure this thing. We'll be back. All right, my good people, you know what time it is. Look at that temp. That's the warmer, man. Huh? Right, I'm on video. Let me show y'all. See, I got some of them country sausage from Georgia. Look at that brisket. Ooh. Ooh, it's time to time to wrap them. Give me a second. I'm going to take it over here so we can put that Wagyu on now. Yes, sir. We're going to get it real juicy. It ain't tender yet. It'll get there. Yep. Everybody wanna know what the beef tallow do. What do you everybody wanna know what the beef tallow do. Uh till it hits two oh five. How you know when it hits two oh five, Yep. Sticking these little gauges in there. I'm gonna flip that over. What? Yep, just like that. <clears throat> All right, y'all, check it out. Y'all saw the uh, the wagyu, uh, putting that on there. Uh, we wrapped it at about one seventy. I let it go to about one seventy just because I had to switch, trying to figure out my temp. Keep in mind, this is my second temp, second time cooking on it, actually using meat. So, got to figure out my sweet spot, how much wood I put in there, all of that. So, it worked like a champ. The warmer came perfectly for the brisket. Um, so it's still running. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you actually when I take it out uh, Ain't no sense in even showing you because it's already wrapped I'm gonna take it out put it in the cooler let it sit when I get ready to unwrap it to cut it I'm gonna let you see what it looked like and show you what my skills about We'll be back
That's my money right now. Hold on, man. Okay, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I can get, I can get one tomorrow on my way home. Dad, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Do I look like I'm going to vacation? It's not how airports work, man. You could. Are we the same? I don't even want to go on vacation. I think what you got in here, man. She has history. That's pretty good, bro. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.